Welcome to the Regency Publishers Podcast. It is my pleasure to welcome poet Wesley Lee. Wesley, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Um, Wesley, I understand you've been a poet for a while now and that you've published your first book of poetry. What is the title, please? Well, the the title is, is Poems by Wesley. And um, you can find them on my website at uh, wesleylee.net, along with my book I've recently published entitled Conspiracy of Silence. And Conspiracy of Silence is a book of poetry? No, that's the book I've um, published, but the poems are actually on the website. Okay. Tell me about, do you have a copy of Conspiracy of Silence with you so we can see your cover? Oh, yes, you can see it. There we go. Look at that. Okay, thank you. Um, Tell me what your book is about. Well, it's actually um, a book about my childhood and growing up to my manhood. It's um, like a chronicle of, you know, things that I've been through and experiences I've had and how I've dealt with them and how I've overcame some of the adversity in my lifetime. What is the largest adversity that you feel like you've overcome? Um, the largest adversity is actually just growing up in um, dysfunction. You know, okay. I had a very dysfunctional upbringing and, you know, I had to pretty much get it out of my system. So it's just the memories were so vivid that I decided to put it down on paper and um, have it published for people to see. It's interesting that you've said that because a lot of people say writing down everything kind of gets it out of the inside and it's a very cathartic. Did you find relief once you wrote it all out and published your book? Well, at, at the beginning, it wasn't relief. It was it was kind of sad because some of those memories I didn't want to remember anymore. But sure. you know, as time, you know, time heals all wounds. And um, you know, the worst part of things are very much over behind me. So, you know, I'm I'm pretty good right now. And you have your own family now. You're married and you have a son, correct? Correct. And your son is 15? Yes. And he's an athlete? Yes, he's an athlete. You'll get the human being back when he turns 21. You know, I because, believe that. Yes, because they're not now. They're not human beings. They're alien not life a, forms. Yes, that's what they are. <laughs> I'm finding out. <laughs> Good luck with that. At least he has athletics to go ahead and, you know, get out of right. all this whatever frustration. Now, yes. we talked before and you told me that you wrote love poems to your wife before you were married. And yes. that oftentimes you wrote love poems for some of your guy friends to their girlfriends. Yes. yes. And you've always been interested in poetry, correct? Correct. So... We know we can find your poems at your website, which is wesleylee.net, correct? Yes. Will you write a book of poetry, do you think? Um, I believe I will in the near future. You know, I'm trying to put things together. I, all, I have some that I've already written that aren't on my website yet. So that's going to be where I started with um, my book of poetry. Fantastic. Now, will you, now that you've written your, your book and you've talked about growing up and overcoming adversity, is there a next book for Wesley Lee? Um, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, if, if a lot of things come together, you know, situations, you know, real life experiences, because I, I want to write something that's nonfiction and, you know, if enough good memories string together maybe i'll try something else in the near future i think you ought to talk about how hard it is to raise an alien from years yeah. to, to 19 you know oh, wow. 
sound like you know a lot about that. Well, you know, I, I am a mom and a grandmom now. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although yeah. I have to tell you, it has been a joy to raise my kid. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's she's a joy. But um, but I remember when I was in high school, I was not a ple- I was not pleasant to be around. Oh, no. I mean, I, I had this thing with snakes coming out of my head, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are normal at that no, age. No, <laughs> we're really not. It's true. Um, Wesley, when you decided to write this book, did you just sit down and start writing or typing? Or did you have a plan in mind? Did you outline it? Did you know exactly what you were going to write? Or did it kind of free, free flow with you? Um, yeah, like I say, um, it wasn't a plan or anything, but like I said, the memories were so vivid, you know, that once I started writing, the more I was writing, the more memories came and it just kept going free, free flowing until I had a book. I know memories don't come chronologically. So did you find yourself remembering things and then you'd write it down and say, oh, before that. And so you'd have to yeah, kind of fit that exactly, in. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I, you were I, switching things around an awful lot, huh? Yeah, I tried to go back from my earliest memories and come up to like present day. But like you said, some things I forgot about and they popped back into my head. And then I had to like, yeah, rearrange things and try to put them in order as best I could. Do you have a good memory for for when you were growing up or is your memory spotty? I, I have a very bad memory. I have to ask my brothers and people that I knew what happened, you know, so my memory right. is not good and it's just not good for anything. It may be old age or too much dye. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> do you have vivid memories of your past and of your childhood? Yes, I, I do. I do have vivid, vivid memories of my childhood. So you were able to just pull all that up, right? Right, right. I could yeah. pull it all up. You so know, was that painful for you or was it like getting a weight off? Yeah, I mean, it, the most pain was actually when I was living those situations, right. you know, so that's over. But I, I didn't like to think about it or bring it up. But for some reason, they just kept reoccurring these memories in my head. So. That's when I took to the pen and the paper to, you know, exercise it out of my system, so to speak. Are those memories still there? And if not, if they are, are they quite as painful or have you taken the edge off those memories? Yes, I've taken the edge off. You know, as I said, the the worst part is over. So, you know, like I say, with my family now, you know, I can move forward positively and, you know, make sure no one else has to deal with that that i'm involved with right um are any of your family members before you got married or have they read your book um i believe so i i have uh my nephews have um read it and they have spoken to me about it you know because we're family and you know they're they're sort of affected indirectly by it you know but you know, that was just the love that I shared with them. I encouraged them to read. Wow. Now, I want to b- bump back to your poetry a little bit because your mm-hmm. poetry is very encouraging. It's about being united, about learning to get along. Um, did that poetry come before or after you started writing your book when you really started forming your theme? Um, I was always writing poetry off and on, you know, trying to, you know, have positive insight on, like I say, real life situations. Sure. And then, you know, all of a sudden the time came to, you know, start writing about my book. And, um, but while I was writing my book, you know, I was still writing poems. And even after my book, I, I was still writing poems as well. Did you know you were going to write a book? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I was talking with someone and I was telling my story and, you know, they were saying like, 
you know, this could be inspiring to someone. And I was being encouraged and I, w I just began to write, write and get things together and get the book, book published. And that's, that's basically how it happened. How long did it take you to write your book, Wesley? Um, I would say probably about three months. Wow. Wow. Yes. That is fast for a book. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that you should also publish your poems because there are so many brilliant poets out there and you've already read me one of your poems. So I know how good you are. Um, mm -hmm. Can we expect another book anytime soon? Um, I won't say soon, but I won't rule it out, though. It, it, it's possible in the future, but not the near future. Okay, I understand that. Is anybody in your family also creative? Does anybody write or play music or anything like that? Because you seem to have a big creative gene there between poetry and writing. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what their hidden talents are, but, you know. <laughs> They're not I telling you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Leslie, tell everybody again where to find you on the web. And do you use social media at all? Um, Yes, I, I use Facebook from time to time. Okay. Yeah. But in the meantime, where are you on the web again? Um, You can find me at uh, wesleylee.net. Very good. Wesley, it's been such a joy to speak to you. I love the fact that, you know, you've had this cathartic nonfiction book you wrote about your life and you're a fairly young man still and um and that you write poetry and that i'm sorry you have an alien who plays sports but right. you know, <laughs> what right. happens when you want to have children you, nobody gives you a handbook and says you're going to hate them between 13 and 19. oh no no even, even though you love that. them they don't right. tell, they don't prepare you for the changes Oh, you no, know, no. They grow extra appendages and things and all, and they're really right. you know, they're horrible. They don't, they don't and, come and with any instructions. They don't, right. and the boy yeah. aliens eat you out of house and home. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Wesley, thank you so much for joining us on the Regency Publishing Podcast. I wish you all the success in the world. You have my email. Come back when you write again, will you? I sure will. Thank you so much. Hang on. Thank you for having me. My pleasure.